it's tournament day first tournament um of 2022 and since i did uh the last tournament it may have been five months ago since i did that um state tournament on um, watts bar i've missed the first two that this um this this uh, trail that i that i'm fish with i've missed the first two for different reasons but i'm gonna do this one and this one is i can pick the place where i want to go so i'm going like 30 minutes away it's 7 21 right now i'm getting i just got a biscuit and a drink and I ha I'm about to drive over to where I'm gonna fish. This is about a 20 minute drive. Lines in, we're at seven o'clock. And as you see, I'm in no hurry. Why is that? Well, it's 23 degrees right now. It really dropped last two days. It was it had been in the 60s. All of a sudden it just dropped. Today, it started out at 20, I think 21. It's 23 degrees right now. And the sun just come up, the sun just rose. I was not in a hurry to get there. I wasn't gonna be in the water at dark. So I'll probably get set up and get in at about eight o'clock and it is supposed to warm up today though so luckily it is gonna warm up some today real quick before we get going here um part of the video today part of the challenge is what have i learned from last year's kayaking last year was the first time i did any tournaments it was the first time I fished hardcore like all day for trying to get, you know, fish to win a tournament, um, going for bass, stuff like that. I learned so much. I fished with several buddies of mine, stuff like that. And I learned so much just fishing with them and just going out there and spending time on the water. I've been going out here and I have some familiarity with this river here. Now everything's changed. It's cold and muddy where it was nice and clear a few days ago. But part of the thing is like, how much stuff have I learned? How, how much is that going to help me? All the things I've gathered, uh, different rods, different reels, different lures, everything I've learned how to use, how's it gonna help me today? With that being said, let's take a look at what I brought. So this is our setup, simple kayak, pedal drive, two fishing poles. I'm taking a medium spinning rod and a medium heavy spinning rod. I got one bat, one box of lures. I got a couple lures in there. Um, my camera stuff, I got some food down there, my net. And that's how we're gonna do it today. Very simple just a minimal stuff that I want to bring. Now let's get out there and get some fish. The rope's frozen. It's still uh, in the 20s. Oh, my rudder handle's frozen. Oh no. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, good. How you doing good? You doing any good today? Nope. I don't know why. Not yet. Alright, I can't hear you. Alright, we'll just come up to you. We'll check the fishing line. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't see you. You catching any big bass? No. There you go. I appreciate you. <laughs> I thought I was stuck again. It's 917 and I got my first fish. Should be big enough to be a keeper. Barely set the hook on him. First bite I've got today. Red bug, yum swimming dinger. Oh yes sir. He is 12 and three quarters. Looks good. Got the pitcher. Got our identifier in there. We got our first fish. And it's so always so good to get your first uh, keeper on the limit. So um, I need three fish over 12 inches. That's our first one. I went, I drifted an hour downstream. Now I'm turning around and working my way back up. And, um, and then I got that fish right there. And I actually just switched to this four inch red bug size. 
So I don't know. I, I think as it warms up, I will be catching more fish. We get the fish till three o'clock, so got plenty of time to keep on fishing. It's now 11 o'clock. Uh, things have probably gone, it's got, definitely gone slow, but not unexpected. After that uh, cold front came through, you know, two nights ago, rained real hard and then dropped down really cold. Um, I'm glad I got one fish. Four more hours we have to fish and I expect it to be better than the first three hours, uh, especially as it warms up. Oh man, this is not going good. 12.02, still only got one fish, but I've been counting on this rock ledge the whole day, hoping it's gonna be the thing that pays off. Um, we have three hours left to fish, and I gotta be back in my truck to head to the checkup, so maybe like two and a half, and then I gotta float back. I don't know, I was really confident, even with the water being muddy and up, now, I have no idea if I'm gonna catch another fish at all. All I need is two more 12 inches just to get a limit, and that that's that would be a, you know, just I'd be happy with that. <sighs> Got a limb. Oh, there's a beaver. There was a beaver. Must have went around. Another one. What in the world? All of a sudden. I thought I heard some noise. All of a sudden, two beavers jump out. I don't even know where they came from. That's a fish. It's a bass. Don't come off, don't come off. Don't know how well he's on there. I, I really need this fish. I really need this fish. Yes! Yes, we got it. We got a solid fish. All right, let's pull over on the bank. Take a look at this thing. Oh, man. Feels good to get a bass. Dude, it's been a tough day, as you can see. Hopefully this guy don't jump off here. Let me get a picture of him. 15 and a half, maybe 15 and three quarters if he sits still. Okay, that's gonna be keeper number two. Just a good 15, three quarter inch largemouth on the flat A. I've thrown several different lures. I was playing on, I had a plan when I first came and that totally fell apart. So I'm just going to my trusty lures and it got me one. I got like an hour and a half to get one more. All I need is three. I mean, this is a solid keeper. If I get one big one, I may be able to be in the top five. A little over an hour and a half left. Uh, according to the standings, if everybody else has got their fish in, I'm in 11th out of 30, I think 31. And I'll, if I get a 12 incher, I'm, I'll move up to fifth at this moment. So, like, and that's my goal. I just want to get a limit just to be able to say I did it, competed. When we show up to the check-in, I'll be like, yeah, at least I got my three. Got two little ones. Been pretty slow. Fish, hope it's a bass. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I think I barely hooked him. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's so clutch. Coming in clutch in the last hour. In the final hour. I think I finally got my third keeper. Maybe the biggest one of the day too. Oh, I've been working hard. Staying at it, my hand, I can barely grip a fish pole anymore. So I've been locked onto it. Okay, let's check this fish out. Get him on scales, see where we're at. Oh man, I am way too happy just to get my third fish today. <laughs> oh, okay, I kind of just stuck with the uh, flat A. I worked the whole rock ledge over there, came down here to this whole rock ledge over here, getting towards the end of it. And I'm like, well, I'll just finish out the rock ledge and then we'll go to something else. Oh, right here, right at the end, I got it. Solid bass. Good fish, good tournament fish. Long and skinny. It's kind as we want. This is really gonna help me. First off, just to get your three, you're gonna do good. This is a 17, 17 and a quarter. Let's make sure we get a good picture of him. Get it all, everything taken care of here before we count it. But that puts me in sixth place right now. I need an inch and a half or inch and a quarter to upgrade to fifth, inch and three quarters to get to fourth, and two and a quarter to get to third. Maybe a white bass. I think it hard. Yeah. It's a big one though. I really expected to catch more of these today. We are running on fumes here, just a couple minutes. Just fishing my way back up to the ramp. And I hooked into something as soon as it hit, I was like, that's Probably not a largemouth. I think it hit really hard. The largemouth have been really, um, what do you call it? Just uh, soft and not aggressive. This one's got some broken lines. So it could be, some people are saying they're hybrids. I didn't know that the hybrids were this small. But either way, it's like a, the white bass or white bass family there. Pretty fun catch. Well, that's all she wrote. The fishing is over. Packing light, it also makes it easier to load your kayak up and get everything back in the truck. It didn't take me no time just to put everything back in where it goes. Now I gotta head up to the meetup. And uh, I think I placed ninth. Um, definitely not in the top where it's paying out, but hopefully I did get in that top 10 and that, cause that was a goal. Also the goal was to catch three keepers and I caught three fish uh, that were on the, the black bass species which is, um, you know, that that's what that's one thing I do like about these tournaments. Anybody can go out there and catch fish out on a, on a good day. And I do that, I'll go out and usually I wait for the weather to be nice. Hey, this should be a good day of fishing. Like I did the last two times I came here, I caught um, way more bass than this and some good ones. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be great. Well, conditions changed, everything changed. And I uh, still managed to get my three just to do the limit. And, um, you know, at the meetup, I'll get to hear a bunch of people. There's, there'll be a couple people that things worked out right. And those are the guys at the top. Everybody else didn't go right or they'd be at the top, you know? So that's the way it is. There's always a bunch of people that didn't go as planned like this. Uh, didn't go as planned, but I still was able to get three just to be able to, I guess, compete in it. So let's go to the check-in. <laughs> 